Good morning, guys. It is Thursday, March 5th. Did you fix it for her? Robert is trying to fix <laughs> the little magnet tiles for, for Mia. But we are having a very, um, we have a very busy day today. Like I said, it is Thursday. This weekend, we are going to Myrtle to visit um, my in-laws and my mom. So we're just going as of right now. I should put you down. Um, as of right now, we're just going for one night. Uh, we're just going Saturday into Sunday. We potentially could leave tomorrow, Friday. We might do like a half a day if Ed can get out of work. It all depends on what is going on tomorrow. There's been a lot of, I guess I could say drama at his work. There's a couple of guys that got to a fight on Friday and they've been on suspension since, so they haven't been back yet. So they've been shorthanded. So it all depends on like how much they get done today, what they have to do tomorrow if he can get out early. So we, there is a potential we could leave tomorrow. We'll like dismiss the kids from school around noon and leave. But it, it as of right now, I don't know. We won't even know until tonight. So I'm packing as if we're gonna leave Saturday morning. And if we end up leaving tomorrow, again, we wouldn't be leaving until noon. So I could just pack that extra pajamas. It's not a big deal. So today is get everything done. I have some laundry I'm trying to put away right now. I folded it last night. I have a load of Ed's uniforms going right now. Typically I wash those on Saturday, but because we won't be here, like I didn't want to have to like worry about doing them like tomorrow night if we didn't leave or having to do them Saturday, Sunday morning when we get home or Sunday night. I didn't want to bother me. So I've got most of it done. We'll have, he'll have two sets sitting here for some, you know, while we're gone, which is perfectly fine because he actually has three extra sets in, well, he has the uh, top and the bottom. There's like undershirt he wears. We don't have enough of those, but he does have enough that if he needed to, um, I didn't, I wouldn't have to do it all week. But anyways, I've got those going. Um, like I said, I've got this laundry I need to put away that I need to take out the bags and start packing our stuff. I also need to go to CVS and pick up, um, Ed's inhaler, which is funny. He this morning he goes, "Can you refill it today?" Because I he's like, "It's like empty," and I went to go fill it, and apparently we had it on autofill, and it filled this morning, which was kind of funny. So I gotta do that, and I have to pick up a couple of meds that we're low on. Um, I also need conditioner, I'm low on that. So we need to do that today, and then just some pickup around the house. And like I said, I it's pretty much packing today. I kind of made it so that today would be my packing day. So yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. Uh, the kids are actually, Jeffrey is building some Legos right now. Robert is trying to beat some level on this game he's playing. And what do you, and what is Miss Thing doing? Uh, Hi. <laughs> you, you're trying to get that book out? Okay. Okay, so. Lots going on and it is six in the morning. Hence why it is pitch black out. Ed actually just left for work like 10 minutes ago. So we're getting the day started. I am ready for the day. The kids are actually have already started eating breakfast. Uh, so that's good. So I'm going to start getting everybody packed and get this stuff put away. And we'll keep you posted throughout the day. I don't know if I'm just going to vlog today if it'll be like today and tomorrow. We'll kind of see how my mood is throughout the day today because I've been like... I've been trying to vlog for like two weeks and I just really haven't been like feeling it. So I don't know. We'll see. How, we'll see. This could be a one day. It could be two. You never know. You'll find out. <sighs> okay. So I am so glad I cleaned my car yesterday. Like I like vacuumed the crap out of it. I actually cleaned me a seat. I like took the cushion off and washed it. And I even unlatched her car seat and like vacuumed underneath. Oh my gosh. Plus I wanted to clean under this seat or like the seat itself, because it used to have a car seat in it, like all the time. Um, and it just like, it got dirty underneath, you know, you gotta clean it. So I did clean it. And then as you can see, both boys are in the back now. They're way back there. Uh, they, we've already dropped them off at school, but they're back there now. And so I cleaned the car like crazy yesterday and actually even took the, uh, the stroller out of the car because I don't use it. I think it has been like a good two months since the last time we used a stroller, only because Mia just likes to walk or most places I go have a, you know, carriage. So I was like, you know, especially for the trip, it would just be, there's not a huge trunk when that back seat is up. And uh, usually I'll keep like that small part down, 
when it's just one kid back there, but they both want to sit back there. This past weekend, my mother-in-law was here, so she sat here, and the boys really liked being in the back. So since we're gonna go away this weekend, they said they wanted to stay back there, and I said that was fine because Ed and I are both gonna be in the car. If I was by myself, I'd want one to be right here so they could pass stuff to each child, but I can pass stuff to Mia, or if I need to, I can hop back here and just sit there if she needs me to. Um, but we just finished at CVS, I got his meds. Um, I picked up a ton of, we were low on Tylenol and Mia's molars are coming, her two year molars are starting to come in. So Tylenol's a must. And I was so excited because I went in and I'm like, they only had the small bottles of Tylenol. Well, not the small bottles, but you know, like the regular size, the four ounce. I like to get if they have the eight ounce, but it was buy one, get one half off. So I bought two and then I picked up Benadryl because everyone has just, allergies are crazy. And unfortunately, Claritin and Zyrtec do nothing for my children. So if we're having an allergy attack, we usually just take Benadryl. And I need a mouthwash. Okay, this is the silliest thing. I bought mouthwash like probably six months ago and it was horrible and I still have it and we've used like a tiny bit of it. We never threw it out, we never got a new one. So I picked up small one. We don't use it that often, but it's just, it's horrible. I tried using it the other night. I'm like, this is horrible. And I needed more conditioner. But now I, before we dropped the boys off, they were done, they were ready so early this morning. Sorry if the camera's shaking. I actually was able to get gas, which is great because I was gonna do that tomorrow morning. And then I was also gonna go to the ATM tomorrow to get cash for our envelopes because tomorrow is payday. But we are ahead on bills. We're like a month ahead right now. I'm hoping we can keep it that way because I'm I'm so done with being paycheck to paycheck. I'm so glad we're like a little ahead right now. I'm hoping we can stay that way. But as you can see, I don't know if you can see the sign over there. I don't know if you actually can. Actually, no, I don't know if you can. But if you can, there's a Wells Fargo sign. The bank is right here. So I'm already right here. So I'm going to stop and I'm pay up the cash because I don't, I only come across this way if I, or this side of town. Not really. It's not that far from the school either. It's probably... Where I am right now is probably the same distance from the school as our house is. It's just the opposite direction. And Harris Teeter is across the street, but I have already gone grocery shopping this week, so I don't need to go tomorrow. So I have no reason to be over this way. So we're just gonna do everything now, and then we're gonna go home. Missy is having some pretzels in the car seat, but I did not give her the bag. I just put a few in the little cup holder because she can reach the cup holder now. So we're gonna start using the little cup holder instead of having a bag of snacks because what she does is she just her lap. Hence why I had a big mess yesterday. So we're going to do that. I did get that laundry put away before we left, which was great. And I did start packing a little bit. I was a little distracted as I was putting stuff away. I was like grabbing other things, but yeah, I feel like we're doing good. And it's only 737, which is awesome. Cause that means we have all day. It is starting to rain, which yuck. Cause I mean, like I said, not that we had anything to do outside. I'm glad I did the car yesterday, but Mia likes to like play on the little porch and, or our porches, I should say. But if she, if it was raining, we can't go out, but that's okay. But now get to the bank, get home and just start getting more of that crap done. All right. It's been a little bit. I was like on the phone with my mom for like 45 minutes and dealing with Mia who like trashed the boys room. I'll show you. I gotta clean this up when she takes a nap. Like, this is what she did while I packed. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah. She was doing great, and then she like just got crazy pants. Her molars. I don't. I think I mentioned this. She's getting her two-year molars early, and she is like miserable. So we've had Tylenol, and I think she needs a nap. So I'm trying to button up in here, pick that up. Um, but I got all of our clothes. So this is all the kids stuff. This is Ed and I's stuff. Um, I'll charge her a little case. I got this is my toiletry bag. I wanted to pull it out and see if I needed anything out of there. Um, this is actually going to be like our extras bag. So this is like stuff I have to send my, from my mom. My mother-in-law left her soap dispenser here when she <laughs> was here over the weekend. And then I actually have two of these and normally each boy gets their own, but because they're going to sit together, I figured I'd just make one. They really don't need it for snacks or anything or for the cup holder because uh, they have cup holders. There's actually one, there's actually two cup holders in their seat that you can open up. Plus there's cup holders on the side of the you know car. But I put um, their markers, their pencils, um, their eraser in here, their sharpener. And then I put a couple of these are just like plain color or plain 
pages. They have drawn on some of them. And then I put a school book in for each of them. Robert really likes to do those. And then a coloring book for each boy. We will watch movies. I actually got to pull out what movies we're going to watch. I got to put that on my list. But yeah, I'm just trying to button this up before Missy takes a nap. I just put on Charlie and the Chocolate Factory for her. She's sitting on the couch. Hopefully she'll give me another like 10, 15 minutes and I'll cuddle with her. Probably get her like a yogurt or something. And then she'll take a nap. And then I can hopefully finish, you know, like I said, I just want to go through here. I don't know if anything actually needs to be filled or anything, but I need to do that. Just that kind of little stuff, but I'm doing pretty good. I actually also kind of started dinner. We're just having, um, we're just doing pasta with sauce, but the sauce was in my freezer. It's all homemade. I'm just heating that up to make some pasta, get that done. But yeah, I mean, it's 10 of 10. So I'm, like, I'm doing good. My to-do list is pretty good. I'm making my like last minute stuff. Ed's uh, toiletries are in his car because it's in his overnight bag. So I have him grab that, but doing pretty good and then I totally forgot I had these water well books so I'm actually going to fill the little um the little markers up and I'll give them to Mia in the car so she can play with them I have some little toys in the car in a little bit but uh these will be really good too so she is concentrating so hard hi the little tongue out reading oh. What do you think? Are we still reading the book? Are we watching a movie? What are we doing? Here. This one is Bald Eagle, Bald Eagle. What do you see? I see a water buffalo charging by me. Oh, now we're in the factory. So it's exciting. Yeah. We've read the book like four times right now. <coughs> sticking out. My husband does that and all three kids got that from him. He's done it his whole life. When he's concentrating, he takes it. He's like almost, it's almost like he's biting his tongue, but he's not. Just sticks out a little bit. Miss me, yeah. <laughs> Do you want to read a different book? <laughs> I think this is her favorite book. We read this one a lot. I know. So I thought I'd throw in this little haul because I just got a Thrive Market box in the mail. Uh, this is not sponsored. I actually, I bought this myself. I have a free 30 day trial, so I thought I'd try it out. So I got some stuff to try. Um, and some stuff we've had before. Um, Jeffrey is super into pop tarts. So I thought we'd try, he likes the brown sugar ones. So I thought we'd try those. Mia does love the mac and cheese. So I picked up a couple for her. I also got these, um, fruit, what are they like? Fruit ropes. They're twisted. Uh, we've had them before. So I thought we'd try them again. I thought that would be good for Mia because it'd be easier for her to chew. Uh, I got some of these Annie's organic all stars. It's the pasta with tomato and cheese sauce. Mia loves pasta. And she likes like soup too, so I thought this might be fun for her to have. And I just needed some chicken broth. I just haven't had anything on hand and they it popped up and I was like, you know what, I'll pick it up. I also got these Annie's Cheddar Bunnies. These are super yummy. Uh, I believe the kids have had these before. I don't think Mia's had them, but she likes everything, so she'll probably eat it. And I have been wanting to try seaweed, like the snacks. For a while and this was actually a really good price so i'm gonna try it out and see how it is because i think it's like really good for you so this is my little haul and i'm got my pasta going to get dinner all ready for later it's 11. mia is still awake that child's not she's not ready for a nap yet i'm gonna try soon she seems to be starting to get tired and i think i might take a nap too because i am all of a sudden very very tired so we shall see Good morning. It's Friday. Well, yes, it's the next day. Uh, this is pretty much why I didn't get anything vlogged yesterday, huh? Somebody's teeth bothering them? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can say hi. Mm -hmm. No, I'll hold it. <laughs> so, yeah, I really didn't get anything else done yesterday. The afternoon was kind of crazy. This one wanted to be held a lot. And, yeah, she's got her 
I think her two year molars are starting to come in. I think I mentioned that. And I did notice yesterday, I think it's called, I think it's her eye teeth. Uh, she doesn't have any, all, all four of them haven't come in yet, but the bottom two, I can actually see them through the gums. So they're really close. And she had, she was like really uncomfortable yesterday. Oh yeah? yeah. So I just kind of took the afternoon and dealt with that. And then I was just so tired, but we are not going to Myrtle today. We are leaving tomorrow. I could not get the half a day, which is okay. Um, so we actually stopped at Harris Teeter because we wanted to pick up something for dinner. I had talked to Ed last night and I was like, everything we had in the house, we were like, hmm. I'm like, you know what? Why don't we get uh, some appetizers? And then, of course, this morning he informed me that he needs a new night guard. Was I not just at CVS yesterday? So I picked up one of those for him. Thankfully, uh, Harris Teeter had them and it was on sale. So it was the same price if I had gone to CVS or Walgreens. So that made it nice. Um, I also picked up these. They're kind of like, um, kind of like AirPods or EarPods, whatever they're called. Um, but they were only $20. I'm going to try them out. I've been thinking of doing that. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to take some of my me money and do that. Okay. Do you need that open? Okay. So we did a quick, a quick stop. There you go. Uh, so yeah, we did that. Um, so we got that all done and yeah, so now we're just going to kind of, I'm just going to finish packing the clothes and everything are done. It's just. I even did the DVDs yesterday. They're still on my mantle in the little case that we keep in the car. Um, I just switched out some of the ones we had in there because they weren't really watching them. But Charlie and the Chocolate Factory is in the DVD player because he watches that a lot. So I'm waiting until bedtime tonight. And I told the kids when they got home from school that they get to pick two toys that they can bring with them. I, I know they're not going to bring much because we have toys at my in-laws that actually were the boys' toys. Like I took some of the Brote toys and sent it to my mom's house and my mother-in-law's. So that's great. Um, I know Mia is going to want to take her watch with her because she just got it and she really likes it and it's so cute. So we're going to take that. So I have my little list and um, I really just have to get like the snacks and food um, like we're going to eat in the car and some stuff that we'll eat there that like the kids are like particular with. So I've got like my to-do list for today. I've got my last minute pack list and then I also started my list for when I come home Sunday, like the stuff I need to get done, uh, especially because the next day is a school day which I might try to get some of that stuff done today. Like, um, you know, get the kids clothes ready, which is what I usually use Sunday night, just cause I know it's going to be kind of crazy. <sighs> I also need to just like, my floor needs to be vacuumed. I need to wash that mat in my kitchen floor. So I'm just kind of trying to just do whatever I can. Uh, like I said, cause we're not going to go until the morning. I've actually already got my alarm set. We're going to wake up at four Ed and I, um, we'll get ready. And then we'll go, we'll wake the kids up so we can be on the road by five, which would put us there between like 8.30 and nine, which is what we did a few months ago. And it worked out perfectly because then we have the whole day. So yeah, so that's kind of where I'm at. But I didn't want to like, just like leave you guys hanging. I was like, I could have just closed it. And I'm like, no, we'll just give you a little update. Now I'm going to close the vlog. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to try to vlog a little bit more next week. Maybe get a day or two in. I don't know. We'll see. But that's where we are right now, huh? I just pulled everything out of my closet to just, um, cause then I figure I can put some of this stuff in the car later, which will be good. Um, I don't think I showed that I was also packing the kids. Um, what are called? I think they're called boogie boards is actually what they're called. Um, these are super, of course this one's not even put together. It is called a boogie board. I was correct. Um, I think I put that on the right way, but Look at these guys. They're super cute. And like the button erases it at the top and it's got like a little pen. And then it actually, this one, um, my in-laws got the, like the deluxe kit, I guess. And it came with like little boards that have like, some of them are like, you can practice your numbers and your letters. And then there's like games and tracing and really cool. And then there's like a few other pens you can use with it. It like, looks like a, um, paintbrush and stuff but they got the kids all of them plus a case so I'm gonna bring those because those are so good for in the car um but yeah I'll probably put that stuff in the car this afternoon maybe while she's napping I'll make a rundown because like all of our stuff is like ready to go except for Ed's I forgot to bring his toilet his uh overnight bag up last night so I could get his toiletry bag in there um what are we trying to do uh no we don't sit up there are you looking for your chapstick? It's not in there. Your chapstick, it's out here. 
she's obsessed with chapsticks. Actually, this morning I ordered a like little like play makeup kit for toddlers, and it actually comes with a unicorn little carrying case. It was on Amazon. <clears throat> It was like $17, which wasn't bad, but it was telling me it would have one day shipping, which I was like, oh, I'll have it shipped right to my in-laws. So it'd be there tomorrow, but it's like two day shipping to them, but one day shipping to me. So I don't know. <laughs> so I was like, I'll just have it shipped here. So when we come home Sunday, she'll play with that while we're all unpacking and stuff, which is good. You want to sit there? Okay. So that's where we're at. So I'm really going to close it now and I'm going to get some stuff done and kind of just enjoy my day get the things done and get ready so that we can leave first thing in the morning and i won't be stressed or anything i'll be nice and relaxed so i hope you guys have a great weekend and i'll see you next time